Hi, I'm Pastor Leah from Heart of God Church, Singapore, and we are seeing a great hunger for God amongst young people here in Asia. So it's timely that today's verse is from 1 Timothy 4.12. It says, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Now there's so much wisdom in this verse. Never has there been such a time as now when there is a great tension between the old and new generation. Well, the new generation is fighting to be the future and the previous generation is fighting not to be the past. My husband and I, we have pioneered a youth church with thousands of young people for more than 20 years now and we have seen that teenagers respond to two things, love and respect. See, we all know how to love. Most parents, we love our children. Church leaders, we know how to love. So I want to focus on respect today. So you got to know this. Love picks youths up by their weaknesses. Respect releases them in their strengths. And more than love, young people, they crave respect. And respecting them means that we are willing to call out the good qualities we see in them and then release them in their strengths. So empower the young people around you. Don't look down on them or belittle their abilities. Let us not despise their youth. You see, when change comes from the top, it is renewal. When change comes from the bottom, it is revolution. We don't want change to come from the bottom up in a church. We don't want a revolution. We want a renewal. So older people must allow and even encourage change. When we engage the young, as much as we want to change them, we must allow them to change us too. Respecting them also means listening to their views and letting ourselves be changed by them. Friends, the young people around us can inspire us with their godly examples. So don't just invite them to the party. Give them a seat at the table. Give them a voice. Give them a vote. I hope this has challenged you.